Hi, for Fact, it's Good News Broadcast, speaking to Lisa Gill. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Hi, fine, thanks. Special, well, you have a great job. Special Projects Editor for Conde Nast Traveler. That is one of the most gorgeous magazines in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a good, it's a lot of photography in it. It's really beautiful, yeah. Now, what, uh, Special Projects Editor, so you're not actually taking those photographs. You're actually saying, let's use those photographs? Uh, yeah, well, I do a lot of um, editorial work, so more of the words than the, than the images. We match mm -hmm. up the images to the words. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. But when you have the gorgeous pictures, you, you do have... How, how do you decide how many words to use? <laughs> Depends on the story. Um, usually the, the, the package comes together. It's, it's like you said, it's a, it's a magazine that's known for gorgeous imagery. So we, we try to uh, work on, on um, stories that would also translate into beautiful imagery. So people could do a little armchair traveling. Uh huh. Okay, mm -hmm. armchair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, sometimes that's that, that's all we get. <laughs> <laughs> so what? There's something called the 12th annual Hot List. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. get the inside scoop on your cities and the world's hottest new hotels, restaurants, spas, clubs, including 36 hottest bargains. Okay, where do we get that information? Yeah, the the bargains that you mentioned. The 30 there are 36 hotels on this list that um, have rooms that start under 250 dollars a night. So you don't have to break the bank necessarily to stay at some of these great places. Okay, and and is that in the magazine? Is that on the website? Where it's on, yeah, it's on the it's in the May issue of the magazine, which is out on newsstands currently. Okay. Um, the lists are also available on our website, which is cntraveler.com slash traveler.com slash hot list slash hot list. Okay. And this is an annual list. So you'll see this year's list as well as um, previous years as well. Well, tell us about some of these places. These, these, as you mentioned, these are the uh, world's most innov uh, you know, innovative, sexy, hot, new hotels and restaurants, spas, nightclubs around the world. And we choose these places by uh, visiting each one incognito. We go anonymously, and that's how we vet them, and that's how we determine which ones make the cut and which ones don't. So, and, and it's global, so you get places as close to home as you know California and Portland, uh, Maine, um, and as far away as um, Rwanda in Africa, Romania, uh, Easter Island even has made it onto this list this year. So it really spans the globe. So I went to the site, and then it came up, concierge.com. Is that right? Did I have this right? Yes, it, it lives on the host site of concierge.com. Um, okay. But, but it's, it, the, if you go to cntraveler.com, it'll take you to the right place. Right, right. It took me here, concierge. Mm -hmm. And then it says hot list. Okay, so hot list nights. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hot list spas. Mm -hmm. Hot list tables. Mm -hmm. okay, tables. Which is restaurants. Okay, all right. And hot list hotels. Right. All right, let's go to the spas for the fun of it. Sure. And, uh, so, uh, introduction, spas, and then we have oh, North America, Asia. Okay, so in, in the magazine, um, then, uh, y how is it broken down? Uh, well, those are the four uh, types of establishments that we rate. Um, spas, it's anything that's new. It's open in the past year, say. So these are spas that are at resort hotels. These are spas that are freestanding. A couple of them are actually on cruise ships. Um, but um, what they all offer is that something be a little bit beyond the ordinary. It's not just a place to get a massage or a facial, but you know the environmental experience. The whole experience is kind of is different. Their treatments are kind of fun. Um, something that comes off as memorable. And again, they're all over the place. You know, Palm Springs. So, so give us a couple examples of those that, uh, in essence, we couldn't. Uh, we're, we're friends with the Gurneys in out in the Montauk, and they have some French mud that they'll <laughs> they'll attach to your body. Uh, what, what are some interesting kinds of things that m most people might not know about? Um, well, let's see. There's there's a spa in Dallas. It's part of the Ritz Carlton that just opened there. That's okay. that's what it stands out because it's the only place in Texas to use. Uh, Prada products, which is kind of fitting. Dallas is sort of the shopping capital of the South, you know, luxury brands. And so Prada mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. It's a very luxurious um, type of product, and they have treatments that incorporate, um, you know, body scrubs that use the product. It, it's kind of an, it's, it's something different. You don't get this ever, anywhere, and you smell great when you leave. Um, it's also, you know, Ritz Carlton spas are, you know, really wonderful. They're wonderful sanctuaries. To, so you sort of relax and then get treated with this high end. Um, brand of of, um, uh, of toiletries and scrubs and things along with it. So that sort of stood out. 
Uh huh. They're magnificent. Those Ritz Carlton. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I've been actually. Quite, I've been a very lucky guy because I had friends that worked there, and I've gone to quite a few of them over my lifetime. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's the the unbelievably very very. They have. I think that they're, they're, they're uh, you know as far as hotels, uh, customer service takes on a, a, a such a high level, and they're known for just such you know. Uh, respect to the uh, to your customer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's sort of their calling card. Is uh, right. the level of service is always very, very special. And they're just magnificent. Some of the wonderful places, uh, they're just uh, unbelievable. So treat yourself, everybody out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First, so you have to get the magazine. And uh, what some uh, tell us another couple unusual things. But well, some of the hotels that made it onto this year's list um, are indicative of, of some of the trends that we're seeing. Um, certainly, design has moved away from the stark minimalism that we've seen a lot, especially in designer-type hotels, and they're moving to something softer, more organic, more eclectic. Um, that's always nice to see. There's a return to hospitality. There's a more hands-on level of hospitality. Um, and the one that we're most excited about is the sort of the seamless integration of eco-friendly elements into into high-end hotels. So you really can't tell that you're conserving energy by staying in this place, but, but these hotels were built specifically um, to be very eco-friendly. One we looked at is, um, is in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which is right at the foot of the Teton Mountains. Um, it's mm-hmm. called Hotel Terra, and this place was built from the ground up using sustainable materials um, with energy efficiency. Um, it's actually striving to become LEED Silver Certified, which is one of the highest levels of certification a building can achieve in terms of its... Um, eco-friendliness mm-hmm. um, and we see this outside the country as well um, there's a there's a place on the list in Costa Rica in the cloud forest called El Silencio Lodge that's also using sustainable materials it's initiating social in- initiatives um, within the community so that the community can benefit as well um, out in Chile in the uh, Atacama Desert there's a place called the Tierra Atacama Hotel that's also recycling materials lo- using locally sourced materials to to build its place and also even creating um, on the gastronomic level they, they've even planted a, a, a garden to, to use um, indigenous plants and herbs and fruits and vegetables and vegetables mostly um, for their restaurants so this is this is a trend that we like great we love it we have a recycled television studio that we just built <laughs> here in uh, in downtown Brooklyn next to BAM uh-huh. and uh, we do a show called the water hour we've done about 36 hours of programming on water we created a UN decade of water mm-hmm. uh, collaboratively um, and well, how about water subject water any any thoughts that come to your mind with water yes uh, well I mean if you want to if you're looking for sort of a sybaritic water oriented getaway you can always do the the real um, the blowout trip types of trips in the Maldives is sort of the most famous destination now for, uh, you know, overwater bungalows and you know pristine water. I mean, these these places are quite expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're not for the budget conscious traveler, but there there's so many in the pipeline. And if you're really looking to to do a whole blowout, that's the place to go. Okay, Lisa, I think we should send you there and and put cameras on you. What do you think? <laughs> that would be nice. Okay. You can certainly uh, see all the list of places on our website. Okay, yes. We'll link directly over there. Congratulations. A lot of great stuff. Condé Nast. Gorgeous magazine. A lot of integrity in the organization. Thanks so much. Thank you for having Sharing me. Sharing the good news. Bye-bye. Bye.